The man responsible for those back-to-back -back national football championships is Jerry Tolley. The head coach emeritus has done a lot for Elon since retiring from his coaching career. I got the chance to sit down with Elon's mayor to talk about everything from starting his playing career in high school to the numerous halls of fame he is now a part of. Jerry Tolley is one of the winningest coaches in Elon history. Having coached tennis, track, and football, Tolley is best known for his outstanding record as Elon's head football coach from 1977 to 1982. Tolley's first interaction with football came as a player in high school. At uh, Eden and High School, which became John A. Holmes High School, had an excellent football program, and when I went out for football my freshman year, I rode my bicycle out there, expecting to be the manager the team. And the uh, coach says, you're not going to be the manager, you're going to be on the team. At East Carolina University, Tolly excelled in both football and track before graduating with a degree in physical education and beginning his coaching career. I went to Fedville Senior High for one year. As I told you before, we played single wing at uh, East Carolina, and the coach at Fedville Senior High was Red Wilson, who ended up coming here. And he wanted somebody that, that understood the single wing, so I went down there with him and stayed with him six months. And he got the head job at Elon. Why he brought me, I don't know, but he's one of those coaches who really understands loyalty, and once you're with him, you're always with him, so he invited me to come up here with him, and that was in February 1967. At Elon, Wilson and Tolly found a football team that was in desperate need of help. Elon had only won two football games the uh, previous two years. Finished on the bottom of the league. I think they won two games one year, one game one year, and I think one of those might have been by a forfeit or something. Didn't have much money at all. We uh, played at Burlington Memorial Stadium. Didn't have an on-campus uh, facility. D didn't have a dressing room. How Coach Wilson did it, I don't know. Uh, had some pretty good players, believe it or not. Because I think the first year we, we had a winning season, I think, and I think the two years later we were our first conference title. Football's head coach Red Wilson retired in 1977 and passed on his title to Tolly. I tell people when I took over for Red Wilson, and like I say, he was a legendary coach, I had a dream and a nightmare. The dream was that we might win a national title because we've been in the playoffs three times. The nightmare was that I wouldn't win a game. Tolly's dream won out over his nightmare. As head coach, he led his team to two national titles, three district crowns, and four conference championships. Elon, during my tenure, won over 80% of our games. And that's the highest winning percentage of any college football coach in the state of North Carolina. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. And of course, uh, winning four conference titles in five years and uh, uh, playing for three national titles and winning two. And another part that I'm very proud personally, the whole time I was doing that, I was working on my doctor's degree over at UNCG. Tolly left coaching at the pinnacle of his career. Never intending to coach for his entire life, Tolly finished his doctorate and met with Elon President Fred Young about his future at the university. After we won the national title, probably about a week later, I met with Dr. Uh, Young and I said, you know, I'm gonna give up coaching. He said, what do you wanna do? I said, well, what would you like for me to do? He said, I'd like for you to go in fundraising. Tolly worked in fundraising for the university until 1986, when he took a job at LabCorp. In 1999, Tolly returned to Elon as its major gifts officer. Today, Tolly is mayor of the town of Elon and director of the Elon Society. When I came back to Elon in 1999, uh, I was in charge of annual giving and the Elon Society. And the Elon Society is a group of people that are our most generous donors. And when we get ready to have a capital campaign, they are the first people that they look for. Those are our most generous donors. And we were able to build that. I think we probably almost tripled the number that was in there. Since retiring from coaching, Tolly has also found great joy in research. He has published numerous articles and books on football techniques and on the history of Elon Athletics. That's been a big part of my life for the last uh, 30 years and will continue to be a big part of my right. life is writing. I really love to research and they're real, real nice at the university. They give me a key to the archives room in the athletics department. It's almost a storage room. 
<laughs> but at least nobody can bother you when you're in there. Though he retired from coaching long ago, Tali still remembers the recognition he has received for his work in athletics. The first Hall of Fame I got inducted into was uh, the, the Elon Sports Hall of Fame. So uh, that was a highlight. And then a couple of years later, I got into East Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. And then I got into the NAI Sports Hall of Fame and the South Atlantic Conference Hall of Fame and then the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. But all of them were very special.